one of the things that, that David does is uh, he sort of identified a lot of points in time where he gets the maximum benefit for a placement of fertilizer at a specific time, so some of those timings. Uh, how many of those can you sit down and discuss with these guys and give them some hints where they may want to try one or two things this year and see yeah. if they see something? Well, you know, some of we all realize what it takes to make a bushel of corn. You need fertilizer, you need population, you need a certain girth of an ear, and so you need a total number of kernels on that ear. Well, when you plant a kernel of corn, the whole idea of that crop is to at least make one kernel of corn. So we're just trying to trick it throughout the growing season to make five, six, eight hundred kernels per ear. So when can we do that? Well, the girth of the ear is determined somewhere around V5, whether it's a little bit before, a little bit after, but around V5. So we realize, let's make sure we have adequate nutrients there. We kind of learned that having a complex micronutrient package out just prior to that seems to give us a pretty good benefit. Again, we have identified the limiting factor, we've addressed it. So now we've got a good girthy ear established because we've got nutrients in the soil in a concentrated form so the plant picks it up, expresses itself like, man, I just got a great day, I'm going to show everything I possibly sure. can make. Then later on in the growing season, just prior to tassel, that was another area that we realized, hey, we can potentially elongate that ear to the, its capability. And then we just try to keep it happy and fed well to where we can maximize their test weight. That's another area that you can impact is when you sell your corn, you don't sell the way the crop looks, you don't sell how many kernels you got, you sell based on pounds. Yeah. So whenever we can get more pounds, that's a good day.